Well, after its hasty launch, the MyKey ticketing system is off to a bumpy start. While very few Melbourne commuters even have a smart card, those who do are experiencing teething problems. The MyKey fiasco continues to dog the government. On its first full day in operation, even paid experts can't work it. Isn't that a bit of a problem if it doesn't work properly? Um, on that machine, probably went to sleep. His smart card rejected from one gate. Another Mikey worker tries again before finally giving up. At some barriers, there are temporary problems where it stops down then, but you know, they are working most of the time. From time to time, machines, as occurs with the existing validation machines and the ticketing machines, um, some will not be operating. Things aren't going so well on the registration website either. Commuters struggling to sign up, the site even rejecting the Transport Minister. And you just have to wonder how far this farce is going to go. But the government describes it as a great day for public transport, as the first of 38 new trains hits the tracks. The ex Trapolis has 12 fewer seats per carriage but more standing room. Lovely and clean and smelt nice. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks nice and clean. The train service just crawling in under its New Year deadline. We said that, uh, that the train would be delivered um, by the, the end of the year and, and it has been. But the government's only half delivered on its promise. The train's operator admits it's still in the testing phase and couldn't say how often the train would run. Oh, I'm not going to run it too many. We're going to see how it goes today, see what we need to modify after that, see how long that takes us and then we'll put it back into service when we're ready. Only then will the remaining trains be rolled out month by month. Elisa Throden, 10 News.